yo what's going on guys today it's gonna be a different type of video if you didn't know today is the release of another surprise ticket now normally i don't do videos like this on surprise tickets um i generally tell people to pick the character that they like the most because generally that will keep people enjoying the game to the full its ability and keep playing grand blue now this recent surprise ticket does come after the hardest rating in the game now being far high level whatever you want to call it doesn't really matter lucifer what i don't i don't i don't care now with this raid there is a huge gap in terms of quality of life when it comes to having an characters for specific elements so i wanted to break down each element which character do i recommend surprise ticketing i'm going to go from fire to dark in that order the banner's not up right now but i'm going to go through each character that is in the current surprise ticket pool that i feel is worth a surprise ticket if you want to play that element and you do not have said character to make your life loads easier now do note that medusa will not appear in his ticket uh because he just got released so rest in peace medusa she's a very good unit for the raid but see it's not in the surprise ticket now we're going to be taking a look at the fire units first um for a fire it's pretty <laughs> it's a very easy pick it's like no real thought to it when it comes to fire if you want the quality of life, the wa the woman who will give you a glare like no other, Athena. Now, Athena, her main purpose is one, when swamp. This is so valuable. Now, do know that it's three turns on a seven turn cooldown. But nonetheless, being able to cut damage near 100% for one turn, it's 100%. And then for two other turns you're taking what 70 percent wind damage cut it's dramatically easier to stay near a high hp if that's your pool some people may put want to run a midi but for, for high hp builds you're going to be taking a light no damage not to mention she has a refresh on it as well which isn't bad at all but the real kicker with this unit armor effect I've been running a lot of armor type units and I'm telling you right now, armor is busted in this raid. You, you're actually able to take turns without phalanx and not have to worry too much. As long as it's an auto, you can take auto turns without phalanx and just be perfectly fine as long as you have that armor buff. It makes a huge difference. So not only her skill one insane, her ogi is busted as well not to mention she's a crazy dps unit too with the fact that it has aoe autos and a random autos a lot athena's getting hit every turn pretty much she gets five stacks instantly so you have a unit that's dropping out one two million one to two million depending on your pool uh skill damage every turn now this could be a bad thing if you if you don't want athena to push but generally it's one to two million every turn for free you didn't do anything you just got free damage <laughs> it's pretty great i really recommend her for fire players if you're looking for it she's number one pick number two pick there's really not much um there's really not much after that to be honest in my opinion esther is a good pick because of the 30 hits anilla is really good but for those without anilla your real option after that is either best dad to take a free turn. Best, this guy is not bad, but I was not surprised to get him, to be honest. So, surprise ticket is a very valuable thing. So, I would really only recommend Athena here in the fire lineup to surprise ticket. No one else is worth a surprise ticket, in my opinion. That's how I feel, though. You may disagree with that. That's, keep in mind, this is for a high level version of the raid, uh, hard mode. So for people who's like, uh, they're doing a normal one, that doesn't, doesn't really matter much. But for the high level, Athena is the way to go. Now with water, water is actually in a very good situation. 
if you have Lily. Lily is the pick you're going for. Lily's skill one is nuts. <laughs> it's nuts. Uh, having the ability to heal three times without having to click the heal button, I don't know what they was thinking, but that is ridiculous. Not to mention that she has great synergy with units like Europa. Lily is a very good unit. If you give uh, Ellie Swamp to, to your team with Europa, I, it, you're taking literally no damage. It's like imp your, the boss can't hit you. <laughs> so it's just so powerful that it's still like one of the only ways to take zero damage for, like the whole fight, which is really, really ridiculous. Do note though that she synergizes really well with Europa. People without Europa, you can still rock Lily in with the Eternals like Uno and Quatre. Uno still gets a free turn, and Lily skill one still is a constant heal. So, not to mention that it does clear as well. So when you're taking triggers like Iblis, you're not having to worry about the slash so much, the damage over time debuff, as you have to worry about the fear and the um fear and the forfeit that applies. It applies three debuffs, but the slash always comes last meaning that if any unit gets hit with it, Lily will clear. So you're not having to worry about taking damage at the very least. Um, not to mention, she does have the effect to lower multi-attack, which is also crucial. This boss does multi-attack quite a bit. So having Lily have that ability to lower multi-attack is also very good. Not to mention, she, she's a very good sub unit for people without Urius. Like let's say the Urius in your raid has died. Lily can make up for Urius death. So she's a very strong unit. Do not slack on her. This is for water. Um, after Lily, it's kind of a hard drop as well. Just like fire in terms of quality of units. Most of these units do not perform well from my experience. So your best bet after your, um, Lily is Anne. Uh, I wish Anne was getting a rebalance, but she's not, so it's unfortunate, but this is your second best unit. I think she's actually okay to surprise ticket if you like her, because she is a decent unit for the raid, because of her skill one. Her skill one is what's carry her in the raid, so if you're looking for a unit that can fill in a human role for water, this is your best bet. Those two are my recommendations. Lily is so much higher priority though, but for people who like this unit, cause he did get her anime recently and um, they really want to rock her, she's a good unit. Now you're looking at wind, I think, I think next, right? No, it's earth. So with earth, earth characters is pretty hard. I won't lie. Probably the hardest in terms of any element right now the one character that really makes the raid a lot easier it's kind of limited right now because he's not in the surprise ticket pool you're gonna have to wait one more surprise ticket for medusa to become in the pool but in terms of best unit right now for the standard gotcha it's sara sara is by far the best unit thanks to her ghetto turn one uh her skill one her being able to substitute is very strong, and she has a very strong skill three to go along with it. That allows her to take Ogis like a champion, willing to protect your team like no other. Not to mention, she does have a very good uh, synergy with the raid due to her taking tons of damage. Similar to Athena, she gets to proc her tank and counter effect. Not to mention, she does have debuff immunity, Boost the CA damage, boost the CA damage cap. She got everything. She just got to get slapped a couple times. So this raid is really good at slapping your units. Therefore, she's going to be really good. Is, do I think she's better than Medusa? No, but she's a very good option for people who want to put their feet into the raid right now. She's a good option for Earth. Sarsa is not that great for the raid unless you're doing a two mil plane damage. If you're not doing that, she ain't that good. That's just how it is. Sarsa is does not well equipped to really carry you in the raid. So Sara is a good person to put in. 
in her place if you don't if you're looking for a slot uh, unit to slot there another thing though is that after Sara, it's actually a free to play option i know crazy right free to play option so this unit <laughs> i'm not she's not surprised to get a ball right because she's free but she's not bad just to know that she's not actually bad so just keep that in mind what really makes her a good unit is the skill one so for people really wondering um do i even have to surprise to get a unit on earth not really you can use her so that's what going with octo and alex you really can't get around alex you pretty much have to get her um i'm pretty sure you can do a run without alex but you're just making it a lot harder on yourself to be honest you just you're just increasing that difficulty gauge to to maximum <laughs> so let's know that if you like the element that sar is the way to go uh i if you want to wait until the next surprise ticket and ticket medusa and skip out on earth for now that's also very viable my recent upload of um of Foz raid i was rocking medusa instead so medusa's pretty good medusa's pretty good now it went urius 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 ramina ramina Ra oh, oh. we all know it's urius we, there's literally no point talking about this element it's urius don't even think about anything else if you don't got him get him that's about it that it's wind urius 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 there we go if you don't know what he looks like here look look at him <laughs> i was going to skip but it's urius it's urius get him <laughs> his his uh pick limit is about to like skyrocket it because of everyone picking this unit right now so urius get him no question not not even don't even look at anyone else we're not going to talk about anyone else because it's urius get him now for light light it actually had a very strong unit especially for magna users being in zoe zoe's back in the front line not only in dark but in light as well i can find her there she is now just like in ultimate bahamut zoe skill three is nuts you're taking really low amount of damage even without vera you can rock zoe in the place of vera and you'll be fine run eternals and zoe and you're good to go though one thing i would recommend though if you have dlf the summer one you would run her instead of the song if you have enough damage to do your trial <laughs> that's what it really comes down to like if you have a bahamut you need to do your trial wait um let's ignore this <laughs> i just i just i'm talking about this unit i just looked up <laughs> oh well, you can tell I didn't use her. <laughs> Not on this account, at least I didn't use her. I used her on my on the other account I was playing with, but <laughs> I just feel wrong talking about this unit when I see the go to quest. It's not even unlocked. <laughs> Holy, what the hell? Oh, anyways, Zoe skill three is a very strong buff. The one thing is that you need to keep applying buffs to Zoe to have it on a high uptime. So do know that Zoe is a very strong unit. She's pretty much the go-to ticket right now for light. Uh, after Zoe, it's kind of a hard drop again. Not much units are really free to play in terms of surprise ticket. That is really good at the raid right now. So you're hard pressed to find anyone here that's like really, really good. So in my opinion, get zoe if you don't got zoe well yeah get zoe <laughs> no one else here is really worth it in my opinion keep in mind a surprise ticket is the limited thing so the unit has to be really worth it in my opinion to go after them or if you like them if you like them don't don't listen to me now dark everyone hates this element and to be honest it's a good element in my opinion. I think it's a lot better now, thanks to Claris. But I know for all three players here listening to me right now who actually have the darn unit because he was so, she's probably so, she's so limited, bro. I hate, 
how they do these ultra limited units. It's so hard to get them. Like the Valentine's units, they're probably the hardest units to get in the game. So I understand for people who don't have Claris, you're probably looking at Dark and be like, oh, do I have to? Dark, you still have options to get. There's actually two options for Dark, depending on what you need. If you feel that your units for Dark have good sustainability, <clears throat> Zoe, then you want to go with a Dispeller like Vampy. Vampy is actually a very strong unit. I know. Vampy is core. Okay. Wait, you told me. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I was right. I was wrong. Vampy's core. She's core. She's a good unit. She's a good unit. I try to deny it. I tried, but she's a good unit. Now, with Vampy, what makes her so good is one, the spell. The spell, the spell, the spell. Having the spell is very crucial in this raid because if you let the main body gain too many stacks, he's going to slap your team to kingdom come and you're going to be a dead man looking at two counter on the raid and everybody to be looking at you because you died. So you need the spell and Vampy does that very well. Not only that, Charm. Charm on the main body is such a very quality of life thing that it sometimes makes me wonder why do I go into runs without Charm? It's nothing better than seeing the Charm icon on the main body and just knowing that, ah, I didn't take that Ogi. <laughs> so, Charm is very good. Her skill too is also a good get out of jail free card. If you guys didn't know in the raid, if the main body and the wing sync up in terms of diamonds, you're going to get hit with a very strong move. And if you're unprepared for it, it will wipe you. With Vampy skill too, she does have a delay and she can save your life if she hits, which she never hits. So don't even hit the button. <laughs> At least in my experience, my Vampy always misses. So this do note though, she can save you in really bad situations. Also, she can line up your diamonds if you're using Zoe to tank Paradise Lost. Very strong unit, very good. But there's another one, a man, a legend, a myth, a common rider, Shiro or Nicholas in English. He's a very strong unit. Skill two is a free turn every Ogi. You don't have to worry about anything. Just hit skill two, hit attack, you good to go. Phalanx, don't need it, don't need it. You'll be fine. He won't take no damage. He'll soak up this, <laughs> he'll soak up all the damage, take no damage, counter, you be good to go. And you can do it every time. Every six turns, it's a free turn. It's the type the word free turn here. Cause you get a free turn every six turn. Not to mention, he does come with his own ghetto phalanx, I guess, which is okay, right? That's okay. But what you're really using him for is that skill too, to tank all your ogies. He's a very strong unit. Do note though, he does not have high damage output. So you may have a hard time without Zoe being our Claris to hit your trial, even with Bahamut. So I would save his nuke and th with then Ogi. And th in that way, it makes it a little bit easier to hit your trial, which is a 10 mil damage in one turn. Now, these units are, I think, the premium tier for each element. I don't think any other unit can really compete with any of these units, at least for a surprise ticket. There are other options. Keep that in mind, right? All the units I mentioned here, right? There are other options. Don't, don't take it as you can't do the raid without this unit. It's not that way. What it, the way I'm approaching this is that these units make your life 10 times easier than if you did not have said unit. You can definitely run other units, but you are making it harder on yourself. Though, if you do your 10 mil labor, usually you can get carried hard enough, depending on who's in your party lineup. That's my opinion on all of the elements, what characters you want to surprise ticket for this raid specifically. Um, I will always tell people that surprise ticketing the character you like the most is most important. But for those who want to take on this trial, take down this god. 
this is the way you want to go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.